Hi, my name is Gareth Powell. I'm the practitioner manager for the FACT project, which is a Families First funded service. Um, Families First is a Welsh Government funded service uh, with the aim of uh, helping families, children and young people overcome any issues and barriers they may have uh, in their lives. Multi-agency working is critical to the, the service delivery. It's part of the Welsh Government initiative that we link in with existing services in the Vale uh, because we don't only just support the families that come onto the service but we also work with those services that it potentially may be linked in with already or who we feel they would benefit from linking in with. Um, so we direct and sort of coordinate those services to ensure that the, the families are getting the support that they need. So when the families um, access the service, um, the team will go out and um, undertake an assessment just to identify what support is required uh, and it is all in agreement with the families and it's very much they, they take ownership of, uh, of the plan that's put in place. That plan is then um, integrated where we'll bring agencies together with the family to um, help that family perhaps meet who's going to be helping them. Um, and that's implemented over a set period of time and it's reviewed every six weeks. It varies uh, in terms of who we actually link in with, uh, with the partnerships. Uh, with the families we work with, it's very much a needs-led uh, service. So some examples would be citizens as a vice bureau, uh, health, uh, flying start, health visitors, social services, CAMS, um, education, uh, the list goes on. Um, it is very much dependent on what the family's needs are. My name's Rob Couchman. I'm one of the project workers, uh, coordinators for the surface. My role is primarily to meet and uh, assess the families and their strengths and difficulties. Uh, from there, um, we formulate an action plan um, with the family, um, engaging then other agencies and services that we feel would meet the family's needs um, and their strengths as well. Um, I liaise with the, the agencies and services, pulling them in and getting them to work with the family. It's, it, it works as a, a bit of a centre pin where everybody understands what's happening from the agencies to the families to ensure that everybody's engaging. The outcome of this, sometimes things don't go quite as planned, so we like to tweak it one way or another. Um, and following that then, we will continue with a six-weekly review and then look at um, sort of engaging and empowering the family, basically, to continue working with the services until they feel that they can be up and running on their own. When FACT are involved, there's one main person who uh, that family member would contact. So rather than having multiple agencies involved where perhaps they're a bit confused of who they would approach for certain issues, when one person is involved, which is the FACT coordinator, project worker, uh, they've got one person to contact um, who can basically, I guess, advocate on their behalf with other services as well. Uh, which I guess lessens the confusion perhaps which uh, may have happened in the past. I'm Sue Davis, I'm one of the Education Welfare Officers in the Vale. Uh, I'm based at the moment at St Cyrus School in Penarth. Uh, we work with families and young people whose attendance is not as good as it should be. They're not coming to school as often as they should or as regularly as they should. In a fairly straightforward case, the child is refusing to go to school and then the parent is doing all they can. But other times we go in and there are other issues, issues with housing, issues with alcohol and substance misuse, um, dysfunctional family you know, in general, um, you know, parenting issues, housing issues, you, know, you name it, there's lots of different issues going on. And obviously because our focus is attendance, we have to then refer these on. We give advice but then refer on for a specialist service to be able to deal with that and that's where FACT is, is very good. With Families First, they, they're there more often than we are. So when we go out and we identify certain reasons that the children are off school, certain issues the families are having, things they, they're not getting enough help with maybe, um, obviously we're unable to, to be there as much as another service like FACT could. So they're invaluable to us because we can refer to FACT uh, and that service then it's got more time, it's their focus, multi-agency working you know, is the way forward really. We hope that in time um, it will help the young person actually attend school more often as well, which is our aim, so it's a win-win situation. The relationship that we have with the FACT team is an excellent one. Um, we work in partnership with them and another uh, multiple agencies to help a family 
with their individual family needs or the family as a whole. For example, we help families achieve their benefit entitlement and therefore we have families that are better off um, as a result of that and they can meet their family's basic needs in a better way. Um, we have helped families man manage their money um, so that they can decide and prioritise on where exactly they want to spend their money and therefore meet their essential bills. And we've helped families deal with some debt difficulties as well and help negotiate with creditors where necessary. We've mainly dealt with debt and benefit issues but actually we can help families with a range of issues. Maybe they've got a consumer problem or a housing issue, maybe there's a difficulty um, with the school or with employment. We cover a range, a vast range of issues and we can help. We've been working with families that we've never worked with previously. We are reaching families that wouldn't necessarily have sought our advice before. And that's brilliant. The project is actually quite new, um, but we are starting to see some positive effects already. Um, we are starting to get families benefits that they didn't know they were entitled to, and we are helping families deal with their money, which helps them pay their bills and lessens their debt. And I hope that in future, as this project gains momentum, we can have a much wider impact um, on the help that we can give the families in the Vale. Atal of Roe is um, the translation is prevention in the veil and what we do is provide a range of domestic violence services aimed at the whole family. So we would um, provide refuge for women who are fleeing domestic violence. We would provide course a nine month course for perpetrators and that's about tackling all of their issues. So anger management, relationships, um, parental um, concerns, all of those kind of areas. Um, we also work with young people in the schools on healthy relations because we reckon that they need, if they're growing up, particularly in families where there is domestic violence, that's what they know, that's how they see a relationship. So what we're trying to do is to show them and get them to understand what is a healthy relationship and what isn't. It also helps them to make choices, better choices in their lives. And for the women as well, it, makes a, it helps them to understand where behaviours are coming from, but more especially about helping them to make more informed choices about the decisions that they make about their family, about their choice of partner, and certainly about their choices in life. Atta Leveraux, in fact, worked um, very well together because a lot of the families that we're both dealing with, domestic violence is a major factor um, in the, the difficulties that those families have. And the fact that both of us are very much looking at the prevention or the preventative side of our work means that we have a much, um, much more in common and it's much easier for us to work together. But it also means that we can provide a much wider range of services to address the needs of those families. We're able to um, refer families, so if they come to us for domestic violence services, they may have additional needs. And if we think the fact is able to address those needs, we'll refer them to them. And by the same token, um, fact will refer to us if there are specialist domestic violence needs and I think the beauty of all that and the benefit for all of us is that there's no duplication of services and what we're doing is getting the best value for money out of all the services that we're providing but most of all the families are getting the very best that they need. To date um, it's been well received by the families. Uh, we're, we're a service uh, which is a voluntary service so that we don't sort of pressurise them to, in, to engage with us, they want to engage with us which is always positive um, and I think the way we work it, it does in, empower the families and encourage them to, to take ownership of what we actually do. Um, when they've attended the review meetings the feedback that the team are gaining um, is always positive and they can see the benefit of, of, of us becoming involved. The fact is in its early stages uh, of development being a new service um, and Personally, I think the, the service can only go from strength to strength. Uh, we've made a really good start in terms of the amount of families being referred to us um, and we've made some excellent partnership links uh, and that could always be improved and continued. Already to date, we've had a, a very high amount of referrals into the service and we've made some excellent links uh, with professionals and agencies making those referrals in. Uh, the families which have engaged with us, um, they've, they've been on a, a positive journey as well in terms of overcoming barriers uh, which were identified at the start uh, and, and in terms of for future developments I, you know, I really do hope that the service grows and continues uh, to support the families um, but also it continues to make the links that we've already started with the services in the Vale um, and I look forward to um, what's, a, what's ahead of us.